Hi, this is Dell, and I'm giving you a little video here on Zimbra 8.0. If you recently experienced an upgrade, you may have noticed a few things are different, and I want to give you some tips and tricks on organizing and finding your mail, okay? So let me get to my mailbox here. I'm just going to show you a couple things. Uh, before in Outlook, you were able to sort your email by date and by who it was received from. And in Zimbra, you can sort by date, and that is available here. However, you can't just hit the who's from arrow like you see able to in Outlook. But you can do something else. What I like about Zimbra is you can actually search your mailbox like you would a Google search or like you would any internet search. If I knew I had an email regarding Wi-Fi and it came from whoever, whatever, if I knew it was from Joe Schmo, I could just search my email box. Now, obviously, you may have multiple emails from multiple people, but what you can do now, if you've noticed, my screen has changed a little bit. So my inbox or my search went through and found anything I had to do with Wi-Fi. But if you notice here on the left, you have additional filters. So if you know that you had a topic dealing with, I don't know, a student or a meeting or something to do at work, and you can also search by who it's from. So if I knew I was looking for an e email, particularly from somebody, you know, you can search here in your address book and your contacts will show up. Okay. Um, you can also check to see if it has an attachment. If you knew there was an attachment that someone sent you and you're like, oh, I need that right now and I can't find it. You can also search that way. Okay, so very convenient, great, great way to do it. If you notice Zimbra is now looking for Wi-Fi, has attachment. Um, if you want to remove some of these filters, you can. You can just delete them out like that. And you can also close the whole search all together. And now I'm back in my inbox. So I'm going to close these actually. Okay. Now, another thing you can do if you are proactive if you, or if you have lots of time and you just are bored and you want to organize your folders like you would at work, I'm going to give an example of my other email box. What I got in the habit of doing is color coding folders so that if I got an email dealing with one of these topics, I could take it and drag it into one of these folders. Okay, so that's another way. So you might want to create folders in your cabinet, color code them maybe by topic or whatever. That also helps. The other thing I like is tagging. All right, and I'm going to give you an example of tagging. Uh, there is an email here from Lakeshore Museum, right? Not exactly work-related, I get that. But what I want to do is I want to tag it and organize it. So what I did is I right-clicked on my email message, right? So here's my newsletter from the Lakeshore Museum. And I'm going to tag it. And I already have advisory house, new PD, um, red category, which is dangerous, I need to take care of. And I have a category called Study Island. But I'm going to make a new tag. And I'm going to call it Social Outings. Okay, so I have a new tag, social outings, and I'm going to make it yellow. So what you can do by tagging, it might seem like it takes a couple of minutes, but honestly, what pays off in the end is how quick your emails will sort. So if I scroll down here a little bit, if you notice, I have my tags here, all different colors. So when I click on one, boom, it brings up every email that I've tagged yellow. If I pick up teal, it'll be anything that I picked up that's PD. Things that relate to my house are orange. Things that relate to advisory program are green. Okay, so you can also do tagging, but if you're in a pinch and you got to find an email from someone really fast and you can't remember exactly when it was sent, you can just search your email box. So I'm going to look for Kim, career, and search that way. Here's everything from Kimberly Eikenberry regarding career cruising, something that we're implementing here at our school. So I can go through again and I can see what has attachments, or I can see maybe I had flagged something. You can use all these different parameters, okay? So I hope that helps in finding and organizing your email. Uh, in an ideal world, we'd be able to open an email, get it done, and delete it right after, but yeah, that doesn't happen. Thanks for putting up my videos. Have a great day.